Hey guys, today we're talking about the Schrade SCHF 36. Okay, this is a uh, survival bushcraft style knife and uh, we're gonna go over the details of it. I just uh, beat it up out in the survival site here and uh, we're gonna talk about it, okay? So first off, it comes in a very nice sturdy Schrade box. Very heavy duty, good box. It, uh, has a nice sturdy nylon sheath with lanyard and it's got a pocket up in the front. In the pocket it comes equipped with a ferro rod which you can see I actually used quite a bit and a pretty decent sharp end stone that you can use on just about anything. Okay. The knife itself it's got a five inch drop point blade It has, uh, it's full tang, quarter inch thick slab of steel. That's the real selling point for me. That thing is a, um, it's 1095 high carbon steel with a black powder coating that does get abused when you use it out in the field. All right, it's not gonna stay. When I got it, it was shiny and pretty. This is, it's kind of tore up and you can see that, uh, 90 degree spine on that quarter inch slab of steel. Uh, great for ferro rods. So that does, but it takes its toll when you uh, do batoning and other stuff, it takes its toll on it. Okay, so I don't expect it to stay pretty, but the thing comes, comes razor sharp. Really good, happy with that. 90 degree angle on the spine, like I said. Um, that black powder coating, uh, Somewhat resist corrosion, except it's going to scrape off once you beat it up by batoning and stuff. So I don't know how that will hold up long term. Uh, it's 10 and a quarter inches overall length. It's got a rubberized TPE grip. Downer, it's made in China. Okay, its overall weight is 12.3 ounces. Okay, so, but the thing that I like about it is... It is just a thick, full tang, slab of steel, little drop point blade. It's got a rubberized grip. And uh, the biggest complaint I've read about was that they put this notch in the wrong spot for most people, most adult males, okay? I think uh, whoever made that design had uh, either smaller or bigger hands, but that's the only downer I got about it. Other than that, it's a great knife. Let's see how she cuts through some cordage. It's a whole bunch, but six or eight strands. Right through it. Let's double it up. Right. That's a pretty thick group right there, man. Let's see if we can get it. Blade comes sharp. Pretty good. No problem. Pretty good. It's sharp, out of the box. There we go. Wow. All right, so that's what it looks like after you do a lot of ferro rod stuff. It ain't so pretty anymore. A little ferro rod. Okay, this big thick heavy blade out your driver down the ground. Oh. 